Hey guys, what's going on? It is the One Hour Gamer again, and this is my Morkum FC journey. As I see what the Shrimps can do, one of the worst teams in FIFA 17, playing it on PS4, and uh, we're going to have the next game against Knott's County here. So far, it's been a bit of an up-and-down challenge. Uh, scoring is very lacking, except for Stockton, who we have out front. It just seems to score almost every single game. But I uh, had a couple injuries and trying to make it through that, so hopefully the injury bug doesn't bite me again. But uh, I enjoy kind of playing around with the lineup a bit, seeing who can do what. Uh, try and get some of these young guys in the lineup, as we'll do here against uh, Knott's County. And we'll see how it goes. But please do feel free to leave comments and uh, let me know how your uh, manager career is going and just how you're doing it or if you have any comments on mine if you, you like the videos if you want me to shorten up anything want me to lengthen some things uh, i'm all ears so please do feel free to let me know hi there i'm martin tyler with me today alan smith welcome to today's game our match for you today is Morecambe against Notts County. More now on Morecambe from Alan Smith. It will be a long season. There's an awful long way to go, but they've got to take a lot of confidence from the win and the draw opening two games. He's the one we're focusing on, I think with good reason. Can't stop scoring at the moment. Four in his last three. Number 17, Andrew Fleming. Number 24, Michael Rose. And number 11, Kevin. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a fit on the front foot, we'll wait and see. It seems to always be raining. Have a look now but I guess at that's the how it is. for the visiting <laughs> team. Well, we put it up. And what looks, Alan, very defensive, but there's flexibility, isn't there, in the side? Yeah, and I think with his shape, so much depends on the wing-backs, how much they are allowed to get forward and what they can do when they do get forward. Morecambe, I think they're a good side, you know. They played very well in that away victory against Accrington Stanley. Well, it was a solid win, that 2-0 victory, wasn't it? But uh, just something about today makes me think they're going to lose. <laughs> And the referee here today is Nick Kinsley. Thanks, Alan Smith. Actually, First funny enough, begun here. Uh, with Knott's County, they actually have uh, an Alan Smith on the team. Alan Smith can crop up anywhere. See? Smith. Oh, it's here we go. Place to give the ball away. Oh. Goal. Corner. Here's Stockton again. Surprised they didn't put that one away. They were talking about him in the opening. I was talking about him in the opening of this video. He just seems to score at will, with the exception being that one. Punched him. Well, it's a. Uh Pretty robust start to the game. It's certainly a foul, but the uh, referee's kept his right. cards in his pocket. I actually don't mind Ellison when he throws in the, the curves out the left boot from the corner kicks. I haven't really experimented too much because I've liked uh, using him so much. Now O'Connor. Here's a chance really to attack. An attack here, maybe. Oh, no, maybe not. Just oh, ran right by him. <laughs> Here's the chance. Oh. Well, they've broken through here with a really good goal. And the celebrations reflect that. The supporters are going crazy. Just it's poor, poor defending on my part. Kind of struggled with that, trying to, you know, hold it down R2 while holding down L2, but wasn't sometimes it blow by him. Either, that, Martin, but he made it look so. One of those situations there. Different angle on it here. Ah, well, we'll get back. Manager's just upset about how ugly he is. Uh, 
And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. Not panicking. It was nicely worked until that point when it broke down. And now they've got to try and regain possession. Attacking well here. Get rid of that one. Oh no. Got to try one now. Oh, he's hit it. Too high. Yeah, volleying, uh, not so much in League Two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Skills aren't quite there. 21 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Looking for there an we opening go. with some good control build-up. The equaliser here. Oh, another the crack is that Stockton, I think, too. Referee has pointed for a corner. Yep. Right foot, left foot. He's great on both. Ellison again from the corner. Oh, try to get the head on that one. And it's out now for a goal kick. Rose. Notice Rose is terrible at passing. Wonderful chance. Oh. Saved by the goalkeeper. Rose has got great stretch. skill elsewhere, but when it comes to passing through balls, anything, he is just goal. brutal. But he's the captain. So I'll keep him in there. We got Ellison again. Oh, and he's headed it goalwards. He got away from his marker to make the header, and he's missed the target. He's normally on the ground in the air. Fine in Stockton. Slightly missed time. I think he's rated 61 in this game. Inside of the head as well as the outside. Good pass. Trying to find a way through here. Probing away. Action-packed first half so far. Shots on here. That's a good save. He got a touch Case to that. Point. And that will be a corner. The referee has given a Barry corner. Barry Roach, here. he's been outstanding for the Shrimps this year. Without him, I'm sure the Shrimps would have been blown out time and time again. Especially with my poor defending. And now the shot! Nah, that one didn't it's a work fine in. strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to. Bulge in the back of the net. No. Could be get something here before the half. Try and find an equalizer here. Have a crack. And shoots. Oh yeah. They scored. That's what they call the postage stamp. Absolutely unreachable up there. And not Stockton for once. Fantastic from the neutral point of view that the game is level again. What a goal. Well, let's take another look at the goal. A little slow to react, the keeper there. Jack Dunn finally gets one. It is... Uh... Level. He's a center uh, attack in midfield for the Shrimps. Just plays behind Stockton, so good to see him get on the board this year. And that's the halftime whistle from the referee. 1-1 one, one at the break. All right, well, at least we're tied. We'll see what we well, can do in the player, second half here. Don't think uh, I'll make too many big, well. big moves. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, really good late equalizing goal, and that might just change the manager's team talk now. His teammates will thank him for that. That was a nice steal. This with a chance to go into the lead now. It's gone for a corner. Shoot from everywhere. Done again, trying to get his second. Listen, curl this one in. And it we... comes the oh. header. Well, you can't fault them for that lack of effort. It's still level. Will dig another midfielder. He's actually quite good in the air. I'm not uh, trying to find Stockton, I'm trying to find him Exeter. and scope it's him out because he can get up there. For Exeter City. Ten minutes remain. 3 0. Cheers, Alan. Rose. He's got his shot off now. Oh. By the standards of this game, that was Might a as well great give it a try. chance. He was never going to be a match of uh, lots of scoring opportunities, and he might live to regret that one. Shot. 
Oh, big save. Saved by the goalkeeper at An extra stretch. time. So a corner to come, and it's still not over yet. Let's see if we can pull this one out here. Get it out of there. Yes. And Alan Smith controls it. Ah, poor pass. We make a quick run up the pitch. Low time is probably going to explode. Yep, sure enough. And that's ah, well, take the time. Now it's finished at 1 1 here. Really bad weather today. Really good game. Yeah, we forgot about the weather. Only 10 minutes in because it was so entertaining. Great stuff. And now we'll move on. I think we got a cup game coming up. Uh, but first, we'll get a little training in here. Get some of those young guys out on the pitch, see what they can do. Typically, I like to go through, and uh, I kind of go with the recommendations, but uh, I flip it around here or there. But for the most part, just stick with what they suggest and then simulate every single time. And what you'll find in some of the you know Premier Leagues, Serie A, Bundesliga, the guys with their potential. I mean, when you train, they just their attributes go through the roof. These guys, not so much. What I found. Oh yeah, so then you got another injury to deal with. Great. Oh no, this one's coming back. So that's a good thing. Hey, there we go. We're getting healthier again. <laughs> Kenyon started the year on the uh, first team squad, uh, but now uh, with the injury, I had to take him out and uh, we'll just put him on as a sub for the time being. Although I do like his game. They got quite a bit of a physical midfield, which uh, I don't mind uh, whatsoever. All right, let's get into it. The English Cup, Rochdale, Morecambe, the Shrimps. Uh, I, really, it doesn't really matter the, as my objectives aren't really for domestic success or anything like that. But it's good to see the team do well, uh, kind of build some confidence. Yeah, so Kenny just coming off the injury. We'll leave him in there as a sub, and uh, maybe we'll put yeah, Mullen in. Uh, in for Stockton, maybe bring Stockton in uh, if we need to as a super sub. I have been enjoying uh, playing with the Shrimp, so it kind of is an interesting challenge. Again, there's no real skill move to speak of. Uh, first touch is sometimes a passing. Crossing is terrible for the most part. So you kind of have to play a little bit of small ball and just a lot of possession, pass it back and forth. Mind you, the defense is extremely lacking, but that's partially my fault. <laughs> It's cup tie time in the English League Cup and I can sense the extra buzz amongst the supporters as we came into the stadium. Our match for you today is Morecambe and they play Rochdale. You've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. The kind of players that we expect, the kind of performances we expect from the individuals trying to make this formation work. Yeah, I mean, it can at first glance look cautious, but it just depends on the attitude of the players out there. Once they've got a foothold in this game, they can get a little bit more adventurous and push on. Have a look now at the lineup for the visiting team. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. And there could be a threat on the front foot. We'll wait and see. Yeah, this one I'm not taking uh, too, too seriously. If uh, we win, great. If we don't, that's fine too. Welcome will be looking to get a victory here. They need a victory, really. Last time out, they were at home. They couldn't find a winning goal and drew against Notts County. Well, I think they could have played a lot better in that 1-1. In fact, I think they were lucky. And 
I think they will lose here. <laughs> Seems like every game. They're guessing that we're going to lose, which is fair. Morecambe is one of the worst teams in the game. Uh, thus the, the challenge, but also the opportunity and possibilities. And it's just so much fun to kind of try out some of these teams that I've They're never heard of. They're ready to go in this cup tie in the English League Cup. Well, there's a lot of good players out there, but uh, they don't always show it in this competition because nerves can get the better of you. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Good pass, getting it forward. Oh, there's poor defending again from my part. <laughs> well, he lost his Got away from it. Crucial moment. He's seen a little that crap there, a little grass on his elbow. Surface down there. The dirty elbow is probably why I missed it. He was weighted down on the left side. Into Barry, the, the keeper, would have been able to stop him though. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Oh, here we go. It's a good ball. Oh, come that on. is the post he's hit, and it's a goal kick. Oh, I think Ellison deserved better there. Outside of the post. Yeah, I'm upset. At least been able to control a bit of the play here. Let's hope we can swing one in. Played into the middle. Ooh. Defended to it first. Finally a decent cross though. Corner to come now. What about that chance a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. Yeah, yeah just going off the, the bar. Corner. Still using Allison for the corners so though, both uh, left and right side. Too far away from achieving his goal. But... And it's a heading oh. chance now. At full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. Pressure really on yet another corner. I think that was Wildig again in the air. I said I like trying to find him. Not the tallest guy, but he can get up there. Let's see if we can find him again. And here's the header. Oh. Super stop by the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to yeah, the ball as well. Yeah, that was Way through here, probing away. A timely challenge. And the cross coming in. Oh, no. And he's headed it goalwards. A good hit at right, it. Got away with one there. I'm afraid that was off the radar. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Yeah, see, that's kind of cross that I'm used to. Too close to the goalkeeper. Well, we're halfway through, and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. No, that's all right. Still tied. Still got Stockton on the bench. A Attack super sub. Well maybe here. bring him on. Cross coming in now. Oh, well, let's get through well, there. He won't be watching the playback of this game, will he? Because that is well, horrendous. He's going to Again, get a decent enough cross, but Even some poor defending. End up losing this match. And not really much I can do, because financial is one of my uh, biggest class. objectives. I can't spend any money. But I can take tracks like that. <laughs> I might not need to That's add anybody. Let's see, if we could dial up here for the corner. That's too deep. I will get to so try it again. To come. Ooh. No, no, nothing new. Can't keep the ball at the moment. It's an exhibition here with such great passing. Nice saves. Oh, I thought we'd seen the breakthrough there, but. What a fantastic Barry save. The keeper, the keeper coming to save the day again. Scoreless. Have a look at that, the corner count. Yeah, their first one Tries in the game. Good punch. punch. Away. Substitution Two coming up. Number 14, Ian Henderson. Gone for the through pass. Henderson. Good block. In with the oh, another a big save. By the keeper. Got another corner to deal with here, though. One of those days where the keeper will not be beaten. He's filling that goal today. I don't know what some of those guys were doing. Barry knows what he's doing, though. And it's 
a headed effort at goal. Oh, another big save. That's a save. good save. He got a touch to that. Getting lucky here. Well, we've been privileged or to maybe watch Barry's two of the best good. goalkeepers. And uh, some of the saves they've made have been outstanding. And he's headed it goalwards. Oh, what? Oh, he's put it into his own net. Oh. Well, that stings a bit, especially what, oh man, the 70th minute. 71st now. Oh. Well, it is a goal. It is an own goal. I don't think there's much doubt oh. about that, Alan. No, none at all. Jim. Right off the shoulder. Soften, and sometimes it does go wrong. It's a frustrating way to go behind in a match when you right, we'll try pump up the attack to the opposition scoring with the own goal. Bring Stockton on. And done. Could be dangerous. You don't see that so often. Just glided past him. Oh, what a Surely move. Here we go. The equalizer. Oh. It's a yes, it's goal. open, and there it is. The, goal the equalizer the needed that one. Done again. Very good build up, Alan. Very good goal. Well, the defenders just stood rooted to the spot on the edge of the box, and what a poor one to concede. Different angle on it here. An easy little tap in, but at least they didn't miss it. And let the celebration in the rain in two. Second goal in two games for Dunn. So good to see him get going in stock and kind of set that one up. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored Stockton here just now. just a tear in league two. Here he goes again. In strongly. Give it to him. And done. Yep. The break is definitely on. Oh, and he buries goal. it. That's nice huge. Goal. Could well have won the game for them. Great moment. It is a decisive moment in the match. Just a you finesse shot sure. into the corner. The touch of a maestro to just let that ball trundle on into the net. Yeah, he's having a little chuckle to himself, and if you're talking about that, I'm sure to his teammates, he'd be proud of that one. Yeah, wasn't expecting anything from this game, but uh, I'll take it. Maybe kind of get back into a defensive shell here and hopefully hang on to the lead. Maybe to get this crucial goal. Ooh. Gonna tie his luck. Well, he won't be watching the playback of this game, will he? Because that is well, horrendous. He's going to get some stick for Lucking that. Looking out an extra more, time here. End up losing this match. Henderson. There it is, big win. That's the final score. Two Didn't really here. need it, but we'll take it. Well, in cup ties, winning is all that matters, and they have won. Yeah, they've done the necessary. I think they just about deserved it. It was close at times, but yeah, uh, winners here. All right, well, thanks again for uh, checking out this uh, latest vid. You can check out all the episodes with my Morecambe FC uh, squad and trying to bring them to glory, one of the worst teams in FIFA's game. I am the one hour gamer and typically I crack open games, play them for an hour, let you know my thoughts, but I uh, tried a little something different here with FIFA as we go through the squad report. Most of the guys feeling good. Form is excellent with Stockton, of course, but uh, we'll see if we can get some more of these guys in the lineup in the not-too-distant future. Thanks again, guys. We'll talk to you soon.